today it's a definitely nice winter day out here today. We are doing Mount Roberta, which is a 5.6 K hike with an elevation gain of around 500, 600 ish meters. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we're just starting the trail now. There's actually a couple people here, which is nice. We're here midweek. So yeah, I'm very excited to do this one. I'll see you guys in the next clip. It's an easy one and it's around six kilometers. This is doable in the summer or the winter. So we're doing it in the winter obviously today, but I'm very, very excited for this one. It's been on my list for a while actually. It shouldn't take us more than two hours. So it's a pretty quick trail. If you want to make it longer, you can actually go to Fossil Falls from here as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip.
Welcome to my after hike summary for Interlakes Trail. So this hike I did back in November. I did this one November 15th. Yay, I'm finally past the October hiking vlogs. I just posted my last October hiking vlog yesterday but when you're seeing this video it'll be two days ago which was a sulfur mountain one i'm finally in november which is crazy i was so far behind when it came to hiking vlogs that it was getting ridiculous so i'm finally doing november and i think i only did like three hikes in november so I don't have very many hiking vlogs for this month, but this was one of my favorite hikes. Originally, we'd planned to do Mount Roberta, 
but the snow this year was just like ridiculous okay so normally it would have been doable mount roberta is doable with snow you don't understand how much snow was on the trail the trail was not broken in at all it was very very narrow when we first started it and my friend just didn't want to continue on so we decided to pick something else and we ended up picking interlakes as well as troll falls to end the day with so we did like two in one day which was cool versus mount roberta i would love to come back to mount roberta at another time it would possibly be a good like fall hike just before it's getting into winter sort of thing but it was not really the right conditions the day that we went so interlakes that was much more enjoyable this one is rated as easy in which it was there wasn't a lot of elevation gains at all we clocked in at 7.1 k with an elevation gain of 120 meters and for troll i think it was 3k and i don't know the elevation gain on that one but it was also relatively flat as well so you know we did over 10k in a day and we had already started the mount roberta trail actually We'd already gone like two and a half K on that one before we switched to interlakes. So interlakes, this is a really pretty hike. If you're just getting started with hiking, this is a really great beginner one that is going to make you fall in love with hiking. And if you have hiked and you're trying to find somebody to go with you that doesn't really hike, this is a good one for them to fall in love with too. Honestly, it has amazing views for very, very little effort. This trail is actually quite busy. The day that we went, there was so many groups on the trail and November 15th, I think that was like a Wednesday or something. It was middle of the week, either Tuesday or Wednesday and the trail had so many people on it. So if you are looking for a trail that is highly trafficked, that you're gonna feel safe on, maybe you're a little bit worried about bears or that sort of thing, I fully recommend this one. Views of the Upper Kananaskis, is it Upper Kananaskis and Lower Kananaskis? I'm pretty sure it's, uh, so Upper Kananaskis Lake, the views are right literally right beside you the whole entire way so you get views of the mountain ridges there like Sorrel you get views of Mount Indefatigable and of course you get the beautiful lake that is a gorgeous mountain lake it's kind of like a deep blue color very pretty and I honestly love the hikes in this area and I feel like I don't go here as often as I want to. Like I really, really wanted to do Sorrel again this year for the second time, but I wasn't able to do it before, you know, we got a dump of snow and stuff like that. Rawson Lake is a really good option in this area as well. But if you want something easygoing, Interlakes Trail is definitely a really good pick. Like I said, the trail is pretty straightforward. There's nothing that I really need to mention. It's packed down straightforward the whole way. You're basically hiking along Upper Kananaskis Lake like the lake shore. So you also have an option with this hike if you take two cars to park in one parking lot and the other car in the other one. So you don't have to do the full 7K if you don't want to, but honestly it's worth it. It's not that difficult. And you can make this longer in the summertime. I don't really recommend doing it this time of year when there's so much snow, but you can actually go to Fossil Falls which is in this area as well, and it makes the hike about 16K. It's not a super popular trail, but I've heard it's really beautiful. I haven't done it yet, but I definitely want to do it in the summer because experiencing interlakes in the winter was amazing, and I really want to check it out in the summer. So definitely highly recommend this one, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend, definitely go and check it out if you haven't yet. And if it's your favorite, definitely try it in different seasons because, you know, the winter views are bomb on this one. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I am uploading every single day until December 31st for Vlogmas, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!